Hey friends, welcome to another speed build. This one is for my friend um, Pam Pam's um, winter shout that I did um, earlier this month, right before I went to New Orleans. Um, it is a um, it's a winter theme, so I did a lot of wintery things to this. Um, as you see right now, I am changing the terrain. I kind of wanted this to be like a winter lake lake house like mountainy and lots of trees and stuff um so you'll see that as i get into that um but i've been really i really enjoyed building this build um you'll see how like it evolves um and so here is where you get to the snowy part I have been obsessed with learning how to do these steps that like kate emerald and my friend um that one green leaf does like i've been obsessed so i tried my hand at it i watched a video and i was like i'm gonna learn and i i did my best <laughs> only download this build in the snow because <laughs> i have no idea how how it looks without snow <laughs> So, um, that is my recommendation if you download this build. <laughs> only in the snow. Only in the snow. Um, I got some inspiration. Um, I think I said before, I use Google a lot for inspiration, um, with builds. And, um, this was no except exception um basically i went on google to find kind of like a house that i can kind of model this after um just so i have like a line of reference because as i say my brain goes everywhere except where it needs to be <laughs> sometimes so um kind of getting my brain into the right place and pretty much um focusing it on what needs to be done has been um something that i've been working on with the sims builds because i really like sims builds but i do feel sometimes it's overwhelming with how many options you have like there's so many packs and um like that's why i like doing like trolls challenge that i've been doing 100 tiny builds because then i kind of have restrictions on like everything that i'm seeing and i get to really like experience what i'm looking at versus like having to look at a billion packs and decide out of like a billion cheers um what i want so um with this build there was a bit of a pack restriction because not everybody has the same packs um i forget which pack that like kills me every time that i <laughs> do this and i'm like why don't you have that pack i want to say island living island living every time i want to like do something that has like island living in it and my friend pan pan does not have that pack and it like drives me crazy each and every time <laughs> like each and every time it drives me crazy um but yeah uh i really i like i said i had an image on um google that i kind of reference and i don't know if i'll ever find that image again but um <laughs> Uh, I kind of like went with that and um, went ham on this build. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like, like I said, a modern um, lake house in a mountain, but it's in the winter. Um, I wanted to do something really classy for my friend because um, they're, they're a classy person. Pan Pan is a classy person, can confirm. Uh, so uh, I really, really like how this is looking. Um, I think I do change out some of the windows a little bit um, to get it more, um, I guess, texture or definition. Because sometimes those big windows, especially in that triangle, um, the slope ceiling of the attic just doesn't really go quite right. Um, and then you can actually see my little, um, <laughs> my little um, holiday Marcy, I keep calling them there that's my holiday marcy um the only thing so right there i put a freaking um platform piece there because it was like driving me crazy and then the roof was driving me crazy <laughs> so i was having a time right there i was having a time your girl was having a time <laughs> Um, but I love the modern sleek look of this. It, I think it looks really cool on the outside. 
um and once i get into like the landscaping and stuff we will really get to see how it really changes and flows very well together um yes yeah, so here is me doing the exterior um you know your girl loves landscaping but winter is kind of hard to do landscaping because everything's covered in snow so it's like what do you do what do you do so i didn't include a lot of the landscaping because it was very repetitive but anyway um we're here in the bathroom um i love doing bathrooms bathrooms are probably like my favorite room to do just because people it might be like just because people hate him but <laughs> that's not always the case um I just like doing them the bathroom is like when we got our house um me and my husband I wanted to make sure we had a nice bathroom and I will let you know your girl has a really big and nice bathroom um there are some things that I would change about it um just because it has some older looking like towel and stuff like that but um it is a sanctuary I really do like my bathroom at home and um I hope like whatever sim lives here I know Holiday Marcy is currently here <laughs> But whatever sim that truly lives there really gets to enjoy um, a cozy modern bathroom. Um, I am always using these robes in my bathroom. I always put a carpet down because I'm insane. Um, <laughs> um, but I've been messing around with a lot of um, platforms lately and half walls. That's been like my go-to lately with... Um, doing these builds i've been doing the builds for the bathrooms i should say i've been really enjoying that um and we're getting into um the toilet and the sink which uh thankfully there's room for it um i was having a time the other day because there's a way there's a specific way that you do a four towel bathroom in the sense and when I'm doing a tiny build, I keep forgetting every day of my life how to do it. And so, because you have restrictions, so it can only be so many towels and all this other stuff. So you have restrictions. So I would always go and um, have to look up how do you do it. And I did it last night on stream last night. Um, I have a gingerbread house that I'm probably going to post on here, probably a little bit after Christmas. Um, but it still should be fun. Um, if you don't know, I stream on Twitch. And last night I did a gingerbread house, like a, a, a real one. Like I, I built it right on stream. It looks horrendous. Um, <laughs> it looks absolutely horrendous um, as it should be. I don't know how people make gingerbread houses look nice. I just, I don't know how the girlies do it. Um, one day I might be privy to their secrets, but I don't know how they do it. And it makes me a little upset. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, and I'm finally using Desert Lux Kit. Like, I feel like Desert Lux Kit has been out for a hot minute, but I never like did a build with it. So now I'm like using it and it makes me really happy that I'm getting to use it a bit more lately. I'm here, I think I'm starting a kitchen right now, and um, I thought it was really boring, so I cut out the footage, <laughs> but this is the area I like the most, this little corner. <laughs> I just, it's a kitchen, I think it's very boring, um, you'll see it at the end, I do a tour at the end, so you'll see it, but um, I just thought it was very boring how um, to build this kitchen, there's nothing special to it, um, but we get here to the dining room living area, which is... I don't know if this is my favorite part of the house. I really like this house. I did a lot of like modern concepts with this house and um, this is no exception. Like uh, it, it's a very cool living room. I love that wallpaper. I will say it again. I would say it a million times. I say it at the end. I love this wallpaper. Um, yeah, there's a little surprise Marcy at the end. IRL that I already recorded. So I'm um, look forward to that homies. Um, but uh I did a lot of um, looking up a living room, um, not living room, but uh, dining rooms. I was like looking up small, modern di dining room and it came up with an image similar to what I'm making now. And I really enjoyed it. And I really like how this turns out. I think I want to do another build with this style of living room, but make it 
a bit more grander. Um, yeah, it definitely needs to be more grander. Like doing it up, doing it up for for the for the for the girlies. I need to stop saying girlies, <laughs> but it's like my favorite word in the world. Um, <laughs> I uh, always have to add a plant, um, adding curtains, and I'm going to add a rug, a rug, because I'm obsessed with adding a rug. Um, I didn't know where the pieces for the Garden Lux kit was, so I was having a time looking for it. Like, I truly did not know where those pieces for the curtains were, um, so I was really looking for it. Um, and here's me with my little cheaty cheat that my friends make fun of me for. But a lot of times, like I said, it's The Sims is overwhelming for me to remember where everything is and look at everything in the catalog to see what I'm going to build. So sometimes I go into the pre-made rooms, which is a trick that I learned. And you can just take objects from it and use it in your build. So that's what I was doing a lot of times like something like when I'm stuck in a room and I don't know what I'm going to build I usually go to the catalog and just see like what did the sims do oh yeah there's a hutch like I don't remember that hutch ever but I'm like oh yeah there's a hutch I'm gonna use this hutch you know for this room um so that is that that's my secret of building when I'm stuck is to use a hutch <laughs> <laughs> that's my secret and I'm sticking to it um, but this living area came out really cute um there's a cozy little fireplace TV um I think I've got a plant in the corner over there which is really cute um, but yeah um, my friend Pan Pan likes coffee so I kind of like did that little coffee thing and I've been loving using pictures <laughs> like cluttering areas and using like picture frames as like it's like hanging on that little shelf there. I've been doing that a lot. Um, and then this is like a little entryway. Um, I think I'd pitch like a plant in maybe one of those um, hanging closet areas. Maybe some shoes. I don't remember if I put shoes. I usually do, but who knows if I actually did. Oh, it looks like I'm looking for them. <gasps> I put shoes. <laughs> Yay. Um, and this is the first of many um gallery art i i got i got tired of um the sims <laughs> the sims art so um this is non-cc art that you can download from the gallery um basically if you don't know um the people who make this they have uh they basically go in and have their sims paint from reference and then they make they upload these paintings um, which is really cool and great because it brings different things to life in The Sims. So I definitely use that a whole lot. Um, and then this is the bedroom. This is the one and only bedroom. I looked up modern bedroom and saw something similar to this. And I don't think I've ever made a bedroom like this before. Um, I was trying a different, a lot of different methods and ended up downloading some more CC art because uh, I can't help myself. Um, <laughs> And so it made a cute little um, picture all together and I really like how that looks um, so that was that <laughs> but yeah this is a very modern um, bedroom I really like the white on white I don't usually do white bedrooms to be honest I love pops of color so modern styles are a little outside of my um range but uh my range as in my personal taste but i like building them just because how sleek and like clean they look i guess um it's definitely something that i i really enjoy actually uh so uh but usually me i'm like yeah give me a um uh, a cottage and <laughs> some flowers, overgrown flowers, a big kitchen. Like that's my sort of build right there. Beautiful bathroom, lots of hanging plants. We need more hanging plants in the Sims. Hashtag give us more hanging plants in the Sims. Cause I use that one hanging plant from Bloomin' Room Kits in like all of my builds. And I love it so much. It's the best, <laughs> it's the best in the whole world. It's the best, okay, okay. 
<laughs> so here I'm working on a hallway. Um, like I said, I've been playing a lot with platforms. I wanted to use um, a lot of platforms um, in the build to make um, different, I don't know, I've been watching a lot of those um, YouTube shorts of people like, this is a trick you can learn in a sim. So I've been trying to like learn all the tricks and <laughs> do all the things that I can do in the build. Um, but this hallway turned out really cool. Um, I think this is just after I got the new, um, so I won the high school kit on Twitter from Sid Mac, who's one of my favorite builders on here. I watch the videos all the time as soon as they came out. One time I watched a video and it was like released six minutes ago. I was like, give me that Sid Mac, baby. Give me that Sid Mac. <laughs> but um, I really, really enjoy this hallway. I think it's very cute. Um, you'll see I'm doing something with the floor here. Um, I learned about the control F key and now there's squares everywhere. So um, yeah, there's squares. <laughs> there are squares and that's how it is and I don't know what else to tell you um and then I'm down another um wall art here um I have to get the creator's name I don't think it's um Catatron which I was using mostly um but I use a lot of wall art because my friend Pan Pan does art um they commissioned some of my emotes on um my Twitch channel and they've also given me some really cool art um just as being their friend <laughs> just as being friends they've given me some really cool art that I've actually printed out and have like in my room um you may be able to see it in the background later I don't know my head is very big so who knows if you'll see it in the background um but this is me trying to figure out what to do with this tub area and I think I figured it out eventually uh but yeah I I didn't like how something looked with this. I don't know what. And I think I didn't have enough room for a sink. I think that was a big problem. I did not have a room, enough room for a sink um, just because of how much room I was using. So I ended up um, deleting that one end of the platform and putting in a sink um, at the end, um, the toilet at the other end, and then a nice little cabinet and a long rug, I think, in the center uh yeah yeah but i think the bathroom looks so i really like this bathroom too i like all my bathrooms i i think i think i do such a great job <laughs> 10 out of 10 would um go to my bathrooms again i love i love them i love them um i wanted this to be a very very like getaway bathroom i feel like this house is some something that you would go to like like i said as a, as a winter getaway um like this is a family home and um you just have to let the family know where you're going to be up there and you can get cozy um it's very sleek your parents have money <laughs> that's the kind of house i think this is like you can't like have too many people over like you could probably once we get to the attic i think you can have a couple people like up in the attic sleeping like on the couches or something and maybe like have a pull out bed of some sort but um, you're not having too many people here. Um, and for once, I did not use tool to <laughs> make that plant go up. But I've been using tool a whole lot lately. So um, watch out for that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, we're here in the attic. Um, I was playing around with this room quite a bit because of the slope ceilings. It was kind of hard to um, figure out what furniture goes well. Originally, I was trying to do like this bookcase situation along the edge of um, that side over there, but it just wasn't working out very well. It just wasn't working out. Um, so you'll see me kind of going out a little bit um, each time just to see if things are peeking out. Um, just because I want to make sure things are like not peeking out the entire time. <laughs> Um, so, uh, we're, we're getting to this little end of this part of the video. We're going to do a tour soon, very soon, in about two minutes. <laughs> Get ready for that. Um, <laughs> and then I did this little trick with the, um, the plant you got from Dream Home Decorator. I kind of, like, decided to go and 
make them smaller and put it in that container. And I thought that looked really cool. Um, and like I said, Pan Pan does art, even though I, I don't know if they do traditional art. I know they do um, digital art, but I wanted to do like a big art studio area up here as well as like, I just wanted like an activity area. Like I feel like you have to have like a little activity area. Um, especially this house is so big, like so, so big. Um, but yeah, I really like how this turned out up here. Um, it, it's like I said, the, um, the telescope is for aesthetics. I totally forgot I did a patio. <laughs> I did a little patio and I used Desert Lux cause, um, I was obsessed with using it cause I haven't really used it like at all. Um, so I did a little, um, outdoor area here and um i think that's the end of me talking here um i'll send you to marcy in real life in a hot minute here um but yeah thank you for looking at this speed build with me because i loved building this and we'll turn it over to um uh, the face cam marcy face cam marcy is coming up um can you can you even can you even <laughs> thanks friends friends <laughs> I figured I'm gonna start showing my face a bit more with these recordings because some of my favorite creators like little Simzy and um Sid Mac they show their face and I feel like it's really entertaining when you get to like see people's facial expressions so um yeah let's get into this build and let's do a little tour so this is the build the fully finished build um this is how it looks on the outside i didn't do show too much of the exterior um of the landscaping because i thought it was boring and it's kind of hard to like do stuff when you're streaming because then you're picking so many stuff and then you're also like seeing replying to all your chatters and um interacting with people so um yeah it was pretty boring so i didn't <laughs> i didn't record it I didn't record it a lot. Of, I, I mean, I did record it. I just didn't include it in the video. So, um, yeah. So, let me move it back a little bit. And we are inside. I love this wallpaper. I did not know it came in this shade of gray. Um, I should have everybody who is a... Um, everybody's gallery arc that I used and downloaded um, in the description below. Um, but this is the living space. I love how this turned out. It's very sleek and modern and it looks cozy. Like it's, that's what I like about it. It's sleek, modern, and cozy. Um, and then this is the dining room. I really love this area too. I love the wall accents. I think that is a banker. Let's dip our heads under in here. This is the kitchen. Um, I thought the kitchen was very boring. So I didn't include a lot of the recording of it because it's a kitchen. Um, but you can see how cool it looks here and I just saw that a wall is um, the wrong thing, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. And then here is the bathroom. If you did not know anything about me, I love building bathrooms and this is no exception. I think this bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. And it's very sleek, very modern looking. Okay, let's get through all the doors. I like the like browns, whites, blacks, and greens are just such a great combination for building. Um, this is the first, well, the only bedroom actually. Um, I love the design of this. I really like the wall art. Um, the wall art really takes it to the next level. So um, kudos to 
Um, I think these are Catatron, Catatronics is the name of the person who makes all the beautiful doll art. Um, and I think I used somebody else for this, but I have to look them up again. <laughs> Um, and then here is the other bathroom that I did, um, kind of the same style a little bit with the tub um, right in the center there. Um, all of that is very functional. And then we have a little bit of a hallway moment here, which is wonderful. And then we have a little bit of the patio that we're going to go across. It's so funny looking at that big bow in the sky for another build I did for um, Makehead13 on um, Twitch. So this is a little patio area. Nothing too crazy. It's, just, it's a patio. Um, let's go back in. I like to go through the doors because that's just who I am. And let's do that. And this is the little attic area. We have the chess um, table, um, a painting area. This area is not functional, which I didn't know. You can't do the telescope inside. Um, you have to do it outside. So um, it's portable, it's for aesthetics. And then um, a little TV area I thought was nice. And that's pretty much it for this build. I, I really enjoyed building this. This was for my fan, my friends Pan Pan, um, Pan Pan six two two two, who's a wonderful streamer who streams um, Nintendo stuff. You should check them out. They're so sweet, so nice. Um, and then that's another build in the distance that is just cracking me up because it's wild looking. Um, but yes, this is this is the build. I hope you guys really enjoyed looking at this.